a company besides Nintendo and indie developers, because you got you can't forget about the indie developers. We actually release this game that is grandly fun and soulful. The gaming kernel industry uses their collective minds. So it is very well now that you get a good game. Okay, which is pretty funny because you would think because technology is getting better that gaming will have gotten better. Like, I remember back in the day, people in 2010s and 2014 was like, I wonder what the future of gaming would be, okay? I wonder what types of games would be good when we have, like, the best hardware possible. And we get complete crap like Suicide Squad. You know, Sweet Baby Ink, Garbage, you know, Black Girl Gamers, which is another game company like that, you know, and Take That, which literally went bankrupt. You know, all of these, you know, horrible game companies that came around, they're eventually going to all go bankrupt, 100%. You know, they're, they're not going to survive very long, okay? Because everybody don't want to buy games from them because, you know what? All you do is make woke garbage. But the thing is, this game is not affected by any of these, you know, game developers, these new game companies that no one likes, that make these horrible parts that no one likes. But yeah, it is pretty funny that... For the very, very time that someone makes it, you know, when someone besides Nintendo or besides an indie developers, obviously, because there are people who do play indie games. Not many, but there are people who do, you know, for example, there are still probably many indie games that are very well received as well. Or, for example, a game like Power World, a lot, you know, and it's not just with this game, like Power World, a lot of people lost their minds or Blackbeard Food Kong, you know, and I think if more games are actually good, this phenomenon wouldn't really happen. If Suicide Squad was actually a good game, or Star Wars Outlaws, or maybe these massive AAA games are actually good, like they used to be like 20 years ago, or heck, even 10 years ago, well, I don't think the internet will be losing their mind over every single good game. Because, hey, it's just another good game. It's another fun game. But gaming has gotten so bad to the point where one good game releases, and the internet loses their mind over it. I think that we really need a course correction with gaming. I'm not going to try to disavow... Uh, Astro Bot success, obviously, but if all these AAA developers, you know, made better games, I think the gaming industry will be in a lot better place, okay, as well. But this game should be a lesson for really the AAA developers on how to make a game. Make a game that is soulful, make a game that's fun, make a game that's interesting. Not make a game for microtransactions, for, you know, make a game $140 for no reason if you want to play the full game. Make a game with graphics that are so abhorrently bad that it looks like a last generation game instead of a next generation game. Or even a PS3 or 360 game. Or like, or like, you know, the dreaded PS2 game. But yeah, that's about this video here. Goodbye.